that like busted my brain wide open. I was bamboozled by bronzer. Hey everyone, I'm Leanne. If we haven't met, if we have met and you're subscribed, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Good to see you again. Today is wet and wild day because I got a bunch of new wet and wild makeup. You guys know I love drugstore makeup. I love testing out drugstore makeup because there is no sweeter feeling in life than when you find something that is actually affordable that works really well and they can depend on it for every day. You guys know I've found products like that in the past and I am constantly chasing that high. I'm always chasing, where's that next product? Where's that new holy grail thing that only costs like $5? I guess a lot of times drugstore makeup is more than that now, but wet and wild. There's still hope with wet and wild because they still have really affordable products and they just released so much new stuff. I put it on my Instagram and I showed you guys, hey, look at all this stuff. What kind of video do you guys wanna see? And honestly, at least 90% of you were like, all of it, do multiple videos. We want to see everything about Wet n Wild. Please review every single thing. And there's like 90 new products. Your enthusiasm is appreciated. I really like that about you. But I think what I'm gonna do for this video is just look at these three different collections. We have the Rebel Rose, we have the 20, 2019 collections and then we have the pump collection and I'm just gonna shop it just like I normally would like at CVS or online I'm gonna try it out with you today and then I'm gonna try it out for the next few days and then I'm gonna come back and let you know my thoughts I'm probably not gonna try out all of it because honestly there are some ridiculous products that I'm not interested in at all like a glitter mask no I won't put that on my face but there are definitely other things I'm really excited to try and I will give you all of my thoughts at the end, I already completely ruined my thumbnail opening products today. So I'm in this and you're in this with me. And while we're talking about it, if you're not subscribed, subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it if you're already subscribed. Thank you so much. Let's do this. First off to prime my skin, I'm grabbing a couple of these partner up sticks from the pump collection. This is a big collection that's kind of all centered around like working out, or at least that's the theme. But that theme for the collection makes sense because they're working with Casey from Blogilates. If you've never seen Blogilates on YouTube. You're missing out. She does workouts. Congratulations to her. I love your new collection. We're about to try it out. There are several mini partner up sticks like these. This one's the mattifying and this is the primer. And there's also a toner and a cooling stick. Not really interested in the toner or the cooling stick. So I'm just going to put the primer here. I don't usually use sticks like this, but I do appreciate that these are tiny because you could just throw it in your bag if you were actually, I don't know, taking it to work out with you. I can't go along with that kind of theme for makeup. Not really. It's a cute theme, but it's really nothing more than that in my mind. So I'm putting on the mattifying stick here. I don't think it has any fragrance. One cool thing about these partner up sticks is that it comes with a little connector. You also have cream blush sticks and lip balms, so you can pick your favorites partner them up and then it's just like an all-in-one thing. I do feel a little extra oily right now so I'm going to add a little bit more of that mattifying stick. They don't feel a whole lot different to me. Okay so moving along this is the like complexion face product they have in this pump collection. It's called Makeup Locker and it's a three-in-one so you're getting a BB cream in the bottom which is like a jar format with a spatula. I just I don't love that but because there's another foundation in a different collection that I want to try instead. I'm not going to use the BB cream, but I am going to flip the top of this lid and there's a corrector right here. You get a cream corrector and also a cream highlight out of the top, which is nice. It's like an all-in-one kind of thing. I like that. This definitely doesn't look like my typical corrector. My usual corrector color for under my eyes is more pinky toned, but we're going to see if that works. I definitely need it. I always use a salmon kind of pinky peachy color corrector under my eyes because I have a lot of veins and a lot of darkness. I will also add that this BB cream does not have a good shade range. As I suspected, this is definitely not giving me as much brightness as my typical corrector. But honestly, whether this is gonna work for you or not comes down to your skin tone. It comes down to what kind of issues you're trying to cancel out. So it's not perfect for me, but it could totally work for you. I always get at least one comment about how these aren't even and it's driving somebody crazy. I didn't fix it. I'm sorry, just don't look at it. Like I said, there was another new foundation from the 2019 collection I was really interested in trying and that's the Photo Focus Stick Foundation. This one comes, it comes in 21 different shades and it's supposed to be a medium to full coverage with a satin finish and it's supposed to look great in all kinds of photos, flash, no flash, 
everything, anytime, anywhere. Honestly, I'm typically not a stick foundation girl, but I'm gonna try it and I have high hopes. So this is the color Soft Ivory and we're gonna see if that one works. Ooh, that looks pretty light. Okay, and the next one is Classic Ivory. I just self tan yesterday, so my neck is definitely wildly darker than my face. Um, and this is the darkest color they sent me. So I'm just gonna go with a uh, good old Classic Ivory. It smells like some kind of like craft product not like glue not like paint something you'd find at Hobby Lobby it's not offensive though it doesn't go on super thick which I definitely really like that I always feel like stick foundations are so heavy and that's one of the things I hate about them the most right now my skin is having a moment or it's getting over having a really bad moment I feel like it's sort of emphasizing dry areas but it's not that bad I will say I don't think I put on enough I was trying to go you know less is more just to give it a really fair shot and I always feel like I see people applying stick foundation way too heavily they're like painting it on but maybe that's just what you have to do All right, after two layers, I'm not gonna go any heavier. I feel like this is definitely more of like a solid medium foundation. So I really wanted this to be like a one brand situation, but I just realized that I decluttered my Wet n Wild concealer and powder. So I'm just gonna zoom through the steps that I don't have Wet n Wild on and we'll just pretend like it never happened, okay? I'm just using like good tried and true favorites, the NARS Complete Concealer. Okay, don't look at me. Next up, they released four bronzers. It's just the Color Icon bronzers, and I have two shades that I think might work for me. Let's start with the lighter one called Ticket to Brazil. Upon closer inspection, this is just like a, a beige orange. Mm, can you see a difference? I think we're gonna bump it up to What Shady Beaches. <laughs> Love the name, Wet and Wild. Good work. This one definitely looks significantly darker. I think this actually is a good color for me. I was nervous, but it doesn't show up as dark and as pigmented as it is in the pan. So that's kind of a good thing. I have not been as bronzy lately and this is kind of making me realize how much I need it in my life. I'm just going ahead and using it as a contour. It's definitely not like your everyday contour shade, but that's just what I've been doing lately. I've definitely been going like the lazy way with it. Surprise, surprise, no one cares. Mmm, this is pretty. What do you think? Am I just crazy? Sometimes that happens. Sometimes I record something, I'm like, I love this, that's so great on me. And then when I'm actually looking at it, I'm like, Hopefully this is not one of those situations because I think this looks good, right? Typically right now I would go in with blush, but I'm gonna be using a cream blush. So I'm gonna do highlighter next. Also from the 2019 collection, they have two different highlighting, one loose powder and one pressed powder. This is the Mega Glow highlighting powder. I've used these products before. I think this is a new shade. It's bloom time. There's two different ones. There's a gold one and then this more like peachy, goldy, pink one, which I love highlighters like this. And then there's four different Mega Glow loose highlighters. And this is the shade You Glow Girl, which is one of the lightest, pinkier shades. I love myself a pinky highlight. And I kind of just want to use one on one side and one on the other side. Probably a bad choice, but that's what I'm going to do. So for this side, I'm going to use the Pressed Highlight in Bloom Time. It's definitely not going on as blinding and intense as I anticipated it to be, but it is a pretty highlight. Jury's slightly still out on this one. I do like the color. Now let's try the loose one, which loose ones make me nervous because I always feel like I'm getting too much product, which I probably always am. Already really intense. So if you're looking for a much more like intense, bam, in your face right away highlight, I would go for the loose one. And if you want a more subtle one that you have control over the intensity, go for the pressed. But the colors aren't too much different on my skin at least. I'm going to use a little bit of that loose highlight on my nose, on my finger, because I'm a professional. Whoa, that was a lot. Like I said, I'm gonna keep trying it out and I'll let you know which one I like more by the end of this. But right now, I'm, they're kind of a tie. I'm not huge on cream blush, but I'm always searching for one that I really love because I think they look so beautiful on people and they have several cream blushes from their new collections. This one is from the Rebel Rose collection, which as a whole, the collection kind of comes off as like a pretty feminine goth collection. And this is a cream blush called Rose in Peace. And I was instantly very intrigued because it is 
pretty much black. It is a really, really dark color and you can see some kind of like reflex of maybe glitter. And I was like, oh my gosh, I need to try this. And I already got my finger into this. It is a really big pan and it looks like it would be black. And so I've already swatched this before, but it almost instantly transforms into a nice rosy pink color. I do see a little bit of that glitter coming through, but it's not as much as it seems like it would be. I'm really interested in this one, but I'm also torn because there is a partner up stick cream blush also. And this is definitely more of a color I would typically be drawn to sort of like a goldy shimmery coral color, which you gotta love it. That's my like go-to kind of blush color. Hmm, what to do, what to do. I think I'm gonna go for the Rebel Rose just because it's something I normally wouldn't do. So I'm just gonna apply it with my finger. Oh my gosh, it looks straight up purple. And I'm trying to apply just a little bit at first because it is an intense color, which I kind of love. I've been loving extremely blushy looks lately. Like I see people on Instagram just like blush, blush. And I haven't really gone there myself, but every time I put Put on my blush I'm just like let's do a little bit more I feel like blush is back I feel like it's having a heyday there was a while there where like people on YouTube and Instagram I think they were skipping blush and like don't tell my mom but that is against the rules <laughs> I would normally bring a little blush up here too so I'm gonna do that I feel like this would last forever I am liking this and again I am surprised I did not expect myself to like this black cream blush which like okay I can already see the clickbait videos like black blush W TF. Do you? I support you. Maybe I'll name my video that. I don't know. Okay, so there isn't a new Wet n Wild brow product, so I'm gonna do my brows and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and it's time for eyeshadow. From the Rebel Rose collection, we have three different eyeshadow quads and I haven't tried new Wet n Wild eyeshadow in so long, but it used to be one of my favorites. If you've been with me long enough, you remember Walking on Eggshells, Comfort Zone, all the greatest hits. I was all about it and I'm excited to make my return. I didn't say it earlier and you might already know, but the Rebel Rose and the Pump Collection, those are both limited edition. I think the 2019 collection is more permanent. So if you're really interested in these or if they turn out to be good, we'll see. Definitely like go check them out sooner rather than later. It's actually pretty tough to decide between these. Each one has matte, shimmer, and glitter or it's more of like a metallic shade mixed in and they're pretty interesting color stories. I mean, we've seen it all at this point, but I think these look pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna say, I don't think these are like standalone palettes. Obviously you don't have like a transition shade in all of these. So you're gonna have to have one that is kind of like on standby. Like I have this, the Balm Meet Matrimony and it has good transition colors and like a good kind of base beige color that works for my skin tone. And so I'm gonna go in with that. So I just added in a little bit of a warm tan transition color in there. And then now I'm gonna go into Secret Garden Rendezvous and I'm gonna go into this more maroon shade. This is definitely darker than I would normally just jump into, but we'll see what happens. Okay, I'm gonna say, yes, this is my first time using it, but Drugstore shadows are, in my opinion, notoriously bad. And I feel like this color is performing really nicely. It's easy to blend, it's pigmented. I like it, I like it a lot. Like, yes, it's just one color right here, but thank you, Wet n Wild, I'm liking it. Let's keep going. Now I'm inspired to get a little bit dramatic. So now I'm going into the palette Bed of Roses and I have this like much darker, kind of like a plummy brown color right here. And I'm gonna focus that out on the outer edge. And now, cause I guess I'm just gonna use all three palettes. This is House of Thorns and I'm using this nice matte black color. And I'm just gonna add that as sort of like a soft wing. Okay, the matte black is not like a right home about it kind of shade, but it's okay, it does work. Next up to kind of jazz up my lid, jazz it up. I'm gonna go back to the palette Bed of Roses and I'm gonna use the metallic shade. It's kind of like a, I don't know, metallic pink, metallic rose, and I'm just gonna use my finger. Ooh, interesting color. Wow, this is definitely a more intense look for me, especially lately. I've been going really, really mellow with my eyeshadow and I'm liking it. <laughs> All right, here is how the shadow came out. Now I'm gonna go back and grab a little bit more of this kind of maroon purple shade and run it 
under my eyes just a little bit. And I think so far with the colors I've used so far, I'm pretty impressed. Like this shadow right here, the metallic one, it definitely comes out a whole lot darker than it looks in the pan. But I think it's really pretty and it's really easy to apply. I didn't put a base down to make it more intense. The matte shades I used were really nice and blendable. The black shade did take a little bit more work to work up the pigmentation, but I got there and I think it looks really good. But again, I am gonna keep trying these. I'm gonna try different shades and I will come back with my final thoughts on if they're worth it or not. But the reality is these quads are $4.99 each and that is good. That's a good price. So I'm happy, at least for now. Now for the inner corner highlight, I'm going to be using something from the pump collection again. This is the Keep Going Waterproof Sweatproof Eyeshadow, and it's a cream stick eyeshadow. But I'm just going to use this light shimmer shade in the inner corner. I do not have very good luck with cream stick eyeshadows. I feel like they always crease on me. So I felt like just using this as an inner corner highlight would be a great solution. Ew. All right, no, that didn't really go very well. I think using this cream eyeshadow on top of my concealer and my powder, it kind of started to lift the concealer. And that looks really bad. <laughs> I think that might be more my fault than the eyeshadow's fault. I'm not sure who to blame, but maybe we can use this shade right here and go over it and it will cover up all of my sins. I'm not sure. It's kind of a little too gold. It's going from bad to worse. No, this is not pretty. And what's weird is from one angle, it looks okay. But then when I turn like this, I'm trying to see if you can see it in the viewfinder. You can definitely see it in the viewfinder. That was a mistake. Don't do what I did. Learn from my mistakes. I'm gonna take these down. They look kind of crazy. Sorry about that. I'm also gonna zoom you out a bit because this is getting ugly. All right, next up for the lips, there are a bunch of choices. There are a bunch of lip balms from the Pump Collection. Collection. They're all tinted and then there are a bunch of new shades and new finishes for the cat suit liquid lipsticks I'm not a huge fan of liquid lipsticks and so from the rebel rose collection I'm gonna be using the perfect pout jelly balm and this is kind of like the cream blush in that it has kind of like a dark gray black tinted jelly consistency but then it transforms into a pink shade they call it a black jelly but it's kind of like a see-through gray Ooh, oh whoa it's really really slick it feels really nice on my lips mmm I can already see the pink coming through wow I just want to keep applying it because it almost feels like an oil on my lips and I love that feeling and I feel like my lips right now are so chapped and I can't understand why. I mean, it's been cold out, but it's not like I've been out like in the snow. These are some pink lips. I really went there with it. It doesn't seem to have any fragrance. I do think it depends on your body chemistry, how pink or what shade it will go. But obviously for me, it went like hot magenta, which kind of works with the eye look. I'm not against it, but Finally, we are done with the makeup. Through these collections, there are a bunch of like setting sprays and that kind of stuff, but all of them seem to be very scented and I'm not really going for that right now. My skin has been struggling and I want to give it like all the chances in the world to get better. And I feel like really, really heavily scented skincare kind of products. It's just not the best for me. I feel like I'm sensitive to that stuff. So I'm not going to do that stuff. I definitely need to wrap this part of the video up, but I just have to say before I go, I'm really liking how this foundation is wearing. I know I was like really unsure about it right whenever I did it, but I feel like it's getting better and better. I need to go check it in different light. The light is kind of going down my camera battery is dying I really need to go but as it's heating up on my skin the satin finish is really coming through and I don't know if that means that I'm like five minutes away from being just like a complete grease face that's possible but as for right now I feel like I had to kind of like correct myself and say I really do like how this foundation is looking but like I said I'm gonna try more of these products I'm gonna keep using them for a few days and then I'll be back and I'll update you on everything what was a hit what was a miss what you need and what were my favorites so keep watching and with the power of editing days will go by in mere seconds 
Okay, my head is killing me today and so I feel like I have very low patience. So I'm gonna to try to just like bang this out. I'm gonna tell you what I think is worth it, what I don't think was worth it. As I said before, there is a lot of stuff that I just didn't even try because I was kind of like shopping the collection. Like, yes, they did send me a ton of products, but I wasn't just gonna try something if I wasn't interested in it. You know what I mean? Let's talk about the stuff. What I loved, what I didn't love, and what's worth buying. Okay, so for my top absolutely would recommend products, I'm definitely gonna say the bronzers. I love these bronzers. I went back to them every single day since I started this review and it's been four days? Hmm. Wait, maybe five days. I have gone back and used these every single day. Before that, my everyday bronzer was the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer in Nude Bronze Light. I still love this one. I'm not saying these replace this one at all but since these are new and I've been excited to try them out I have really been loving these and this one the what shady beaches like it looks really dark but I do think even somebody with a complexion like mine can use it and I think it looks really pretty but there are several shades so you just have to go and look and see what would work for you I just love a good drugstore bronzer nothing in my life makes me happier because that was like one of my very beginning starter makeup products when I discovered bronzer like pfft, it was all off from there I was like you can do this this is allowed you could just make your face look more tan and contoured and just glimmery and shiny and sunshiny and that like busted my brain wide open I was bamboozled by bronzer and in the best way possible so this one definitely go for it it's worth it the next favorite that I really did look at as like a very gimmicky product that I didn't really expect myself to love and want to keep going back to but I did it's the cream blush from the rebel rose collection it's the black blush and you just tap it on it doesn't really set down fully and so it gives you a nice highlighted like super fresh look I can totally see this with like a no makeup look or like a no makeup makeup super fresh look and it just gives you a gorgeous flush to your cheeks it is pretty intense you can build it up you could do it really sheer but it's easy to blend on the face which I really really love I really like it and I was surprised that I liked it so much next up I'm sure you saw this one coming they're the highlight products so I I know I said I was gonna try to see which one I liked more and honestly I like both of these more so I go for this one the mega glow highlighting powder it's the press powder in bloom time it's just gorgeous it is a major highlight I have it on today I didn't really like pack it on or anything because I don't usually go for that look the color is amazing I definitely recommend this one and then I said I was gonna try to see which one was better and I still kind of don't know. They definitely both work and I almost feel like it's a personal preference thing. I more so go for the press because it's a little cleaner. It's easier to manage. It's easier to control how much product you're getting on your brush. I typically end up with too much product on my brush when I go for a loose highlight. So in that way, I prefer this one, but I think they're both good. And now for the eyeshadow, I do have this quad that I would recommend. It's Bed of Roses. This is I think the main one that I was using when I did my makeup a few days ago with you guys, and it's the main one that I have on my lids today. I have a matte black, but other than that, all the shadows are from this quad, but I was really impressed with this. I think it's really nice, really blendable. I love the colors. The color payoff is really nice. And I feel like generally all of us, we kind of have low expectations for drugstore eyeshadow because typically they're just not that great. I don't think you need to run out and get every single quad, but this is the one that I really liked if you just really want to try it. So those are all the products that I would absolutely recommend first, and now we're just going to kind of like descend into darkness, okay? But I have to mention this product first. It's one of the Megalast Liquid Catsuit High Shine Lipsticks, and the color is Send Nudes. That's what I have on my lips right now. It's a liquid lipstick, but it's shiny. It's kind of like a very pigmented gloss, and I like this. I'm so surprised that I like it. I'm not usually a nude lip girl. I wore this a couple days ago and Grant saw it and he loved it, which he normally doesn't really comment on makeup that much unless I've like done something really dramatic and he'd be like, oh, you're so fancy, you know what I mean? But it's not like, oh, I really like that lip color on you, like something that specific. So I thought that was interesting. I should pass along the information. Okay. and. You're probably wondering, what about the foundation? So I almost put this on my recommend list, but I was a little bit hesitant. So just hear me out. A ton of you guys were interested in this foundation. It's the Photo Focus Stick Foundation. I do have it on right now. I've been wearing it since the review and 
I do really like it. Initially when I tried it, I was like, Ugh, it's sticking on my dry patches, but like think that was kind of just a me thing. So maybe if you have really dry patches right now, maybe wait on this foundation until you get your skin in a happier place. I don't know, but my skin right now is in a more hydrated, happy mood. And this foundation is really, really pretty. I'm happy with it. The coverage is definitely more medium and you would have to build it up to a full coverage. I definitely have to swoop in with the concealer and save the day every single time, but I like it. It doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't go super, super goopy, gross, and feel thick on my skin. So that has been really, really wonderful. The only drawback for me is that I do get oily. And generally I am on the more oily side. So it's something that I struggle with anyway outside of the foundation. So I love it, but not in a long wear kind of situation. And I would say try it. Like even if you're a little bit unsure, I think it's worth trying. Okay, next up, this is something that I wouldn't recommend and I ended up not really enjoying. This is that balm from the Rebel Rose collection. It's kind of like gray, clear, and then it reacts to your skin and it becomes pink or rose or whatever tint. I think I did like this initially and then as I was wearing it, the tint did stain my lips, but it was kind of uneven and it left a super, super hot pink tint on my lips and I didn't really like that. It kind of felt like an oil on my lips at first, but it ended up not being very hydrating and it was just not pretty. And I didn't go back to this, but I would say go for the blush, not the balm. And now for these blush partner up sticks, I didn't end up really liking these. I do love how they're tiny and they're super portable and they totally make sense within the whole theme of the workout collection, but they're so tiny that it ends up being a little bit hard to apply. You can apply it to your fingers, and kind of go like that. But my initial instinct was to just stripe it onto my skin. I didn't really love this, but it's not a horrible product. I just wouldn't say, oh my gosh, you have to run out and get it. Out of the two, I do have this on my cheeks right now because I have been trying it out. My two favorite colors, if you really do wanna try these blush sticks are Healthy Glow and I'm Glistening. These are just my kind of colors, kind of a rosy pink and this one's more corally and it has like a little bit of a glow. Okay, now for the partner up stick, I tried the primer and I tried the mattifying stick. I feel like I can't even really say anything about the primer, but as for the mattifying stick, I don't think it really did anything. It was kind of hard to apply because you're having to apply this to your whole face and it didn't really keep me matte. So I would say pass on that if you're an oily girl. I did also try out the On Your Matte oil absorbing blotting sheets and they work. They totally work, but they're the more papery kind rather than the thicker plasticier kind, kind of like the clean and clear ones, the blue ones. And those are the ones I really love. Okay, wait a minute. I just realized I totally kicked myself after recording the first part of this video. I didn't talk to you guys about these brushes. They're part of the Rebel Rose collection and they're just like your gothic princess rose blush dream. These are so cute. They're also so gimmicky. I'm gonna be honest with you, I didn't try them. There's a little eyeshadow one and then there's a bigger, I guess, blush or whatever you want to use, like a powder brush. This is cute. This is silly, but this is cute. It kind of looks like a toy. It kind of looks like something that you'd see like in Hot Topic maybe, right? But at the same time, I know this is not an expensive product. I'm not gonna hate on it. And it does go with the whole theme of the collection. So do what you do, wet and wild, I'm into it. It. One thing I do feel like I need to mention that I am not into, and yes, I'm just now taking this out of the plastic because no, I did not use this. And I'm gonna say once and for all, for anyone that cares to know, I am never going to use a glitter face mask. Not now, not ever. Again, this just seems like something that belongs in the kids section. It looks cute in the whole collection. It's just not for me. Okay, that's everything. I really hope this video was helpful for you guys when you're looking at all the new Wet n Wild stuff out in the stores. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know down below if you've tried any of it. I'm listening. I'd also love to know what you guys wanna see next, so let me know in the comments. You can also find me on social media. I love talking to you guys over there. It's Leanne Says Everywhere. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you can know every time I upload. Thank you guys so much for being here and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone. Sweat, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna start sweating right now, like I always do. Am I actually in focus? I got a new camera, I got a new camera lens. Oh, I just smashed that one. Oh, Leanne, can't have anything nice.